many ways of looking at the city of Prague. There's the overwhelming history of Prague. There's the architectural splendor of Prague. There is the creative air in Prague. But there is another Prague where the city steps back. It's no longer recognizable by its buildings, monuments or bridges. That's how I was introduced to Prague. It's Kafka's Prague. Franz Kafka, one of the most influential German language Czech authors of the 20th century. He's as complex to explain as his words. Yet, if you have read him time and again, you cannot separate this city from Kafka's Prague. The city is present throughout his works without really naming it. And reflected in the museum is the outer and inner topography of this great writer. An experiential tour of the term Kafkaesque, a surreal distortion and a sense of impending danger. The museum is an understanding of his struggle and the people who influenced him the most. His father, a ritual slaughterer, the women in his life, the letters he wrote, his works and the life he lived. Like Kafka's works, this museum is not so much about what's apparent, but what's not apparent. It's not to see directly, but to feel. It's more like an experience. And like his works, it gives you an uneasy feeling in the stomach and leaves you a little disturbed. But you have to let the sounds do the talking. <laughs> 